The restricted license test is in two stages. Stage one is about 10 minutes long. In stage one, the testing officer wants to check that you know the basics well enough to progress to the more challenging tasks in the second stage. You must pass stage one to progress to stage two. Stage two is about 35 minutes long. The aim is to check that you are able to display the appropriate safe driving skills across a range of driving tasks, roads and traffic. There are certain manoeuvres you'll be asked to perform during the test. For example, turning right from a side road, changing lanes, reverse parallel parking and so on. The testing officer will tell you when and where to perform these manoeuvres. Once the test has started, the testing officer probably won't talk to you very much. They need to concentrate on what they have to do and want to avoid distracting you with unnecessary talking. At the next street, turn right. Don't be worried or offended if they can't chat with you during the test. Throughout the entire test, the testing officer will be assessing your ability to make safe decisions, apply the road rules and handle your car. You'll need to concentrate and be alert for the whole 45 minutes of the test. Here are some of the specific things that the testing officer will assess during the test. How well are you scanning ahead into the sides, checking your mirrors and shoulder checking for potential hazards? Are you signalling for at least three seconds before you change course? Are you signalling correctly at roundabouts? How good are you at judging when there is a safe gap in the traffic? Do you take the first available safe gap as well as rejecting the unsafe ones? Are you driving at a legal and safe speed for the traffic and conditions? This means driving at or just under the speed limit unless road, weather or traffic conditions make that unsafe. Are you obeying the two second rule or the four second rule if appropriate? Two. Yep, so exactly two seconds. How well do you position your vehicle on the road and do you use the correct lane when there is more than one? When you are parking and leaving the park, do you signal correctly, check your mirrors and over your shoulder when necessary? Do you look to the rear appropriately as you're reversing? How well do you move and position the car during the parking manoeuvre and when leaving the park? If you are asked to do a three-point turn instead of a reverse parallel park, how well do you position the car throughout the turn? Do you keep a lookout for traffic and signal appropriately? It's a good idea to have a lesson with a driving instructor before sitting the test to make sure you're doing things correctly. Most people who fail the test do so because of critical errors or immediate fail errors. Make sure you know what those errors are so you're well prepared. If you're making any of these errors during your practice sessions, it means you're not ready to do the test. You can get more detail about the test content in the Restricted Licence Test Guide on the Transport Agency website. Remember, the more practice you have, the better. It's recommended that you aim for around 120 hours of supervised practice before sitting the restricted license test.